Welcome to our lecture online. Two astronomers, Schiaparello and Lowell, had very vivid imaginations. However, they were also scientists because they used a lot of their time in their telescopes to study the planet Mars. They had over time seen that the surface seemed to change color or shade, which may indicate that there were growing seasons, that there were dry seasons and maybe wet seasons where vegetation could grow and perhaps there were actually civilizations living on the planet Mars. Now, of course, any civilization and any farm would need water. And the question is, was there enough water on Mars to provide for life on Mars for these civilizations? So back in 18, ooh, that should be 1877, not 1977. In 1877, Giovanni Schiaparelli drew a very intricate map of the surface of Mars. Now, through his telescope, there was no way that he could see all those details, so some of it was filled in through some imagination. He took the faint kind of surface features that he could see through his telescope and built it up to something that he thought looked like that. And the stretches, these thin regions right here that are dark, he called those canali. Now, canali in Italy, or in, in Italian, doesn't exactly mean the same thing as canals here, but because the word was used, it was assumed that he was actually referring to canals, as we know, that are used for shipping here on Earth, that perhaps were built on Mars. Something like the Suez Canal, for example, or the Panama Canal. And then, a little later, back and that was towards the end of the uh, century this was somewhere in the neighborhood of 1897 or something like that towards the end of the 19th century Parsifal Lowell took one step further and he actually drew a map that indicated an intricate network of canals presumably bringing water from the polar caps to the more arid central regions of the planet presumably for their farmland so they could produce some some uh, crops from the precious water that may have come from the caps. Now the caps could be seen through the telescopes back then so the assumption might be yes sure indeed there might be civilizations that then built canals to bring the water to the more arid regions from where there was plenty of water in the polar caps. Of course the problem with both of these maps was that their telescopes had no way of being able to resolve that kind of detail. This was purely their imagination. There was no possible way to see that canals were actually built. Because the best resolution the telescopes back then had was maybe several hundred kilometers across. They could only see features of that size. And of course, anything that was less wide than 100 or 200 kilometers could not be as dis ex distinguished from the rest of the features. So it was simply purely imaginative. These individuals, they really thought that there were civilizations on Mars that built these canals and that were trying to survive on a dying, drying planet. Well, a lot of good interesting stories were written, some great movies were made, and of course some of us that are a little bit older like myself might remember the Martian Chronicles where something happened on the Earth and the only way to survive was to get away from the Earth because of some nuclear war or something like that. And so the only place where people could go was Mars, and then they found evidence of existing civilizations. Well, not that they're still there, but that they used to be there, and they found some of the remnants of their civilizations. Were there still present? Uh, were there still people present that were living on Mars? And I believe the Chronicles indicated, yes, there may have still been a few people left that were still living on the planet, but it was a dying race because the planet was simply dying. And people that followed afterwards to live there, well, they had a tough time there as well because water was very precious. But um, yeah, those were all great stories, great imagination. But the truth is that there's no civilization on Mars. There's no canals. There's no indication that anyone's ever lived on Mars. And there's definitely no indication at this point in time that there's any life of any sort that has ever lived on Mars. So this was just pure imagination. It was fun. It was interesting. They gained a lot of not notoriety. Is that how you say the word? Uh, they became famous because of their, their stories and their so-called findings. But in the end, they were proven to be wrong. And that is how it goes when our imagination runs wild.